In this episode of Coffee Break, me and a couple of friends talk about how we prepare going back to school. because um, I'm pretty I'm sure she does. Filming ridiculous stuff right now. Like Kilroy's food, if I can, there it is. Everybody, this is Coffee Break Time on Cooking for College with Ariel Landrum, and I'm here with some guests. We have, I'm Stephanie. And I'm Kelsey. Yay. There's Kilroy somewhere. Kilroy, there you are, baby. Okay, it's recording. <laughs> Action. <laughs> okay, so, um, something that I used to do in high school, and like I know you guys like text now or whatever, but your phone can get confiscated, so like texting is not cool for your like risk, unless you don't mind risking getting your phone confiscated, like I ain't gonna do that. But um, one thing we used to do past notes in high school was we would actually like, I'd have a binder with a specific friend, and it, like we, it would just be a regular normal box spiral ring binder, like nothing cool about it or anything, like maybe we wrote like, like history or something dumb like that on the front or something. And then we would write a note to each other and then pass the binders. And then like, it, it looked like we were just showing each other notes, like in class, like actual notes from the board. Or if I didn't have the same class as that person, like if, if they had a different period than I did, give them that whole binder and then they would open that up in class and like read it. And then like, like while the teacher's talking, like they would be writing a note back and it looks like they're taking notes in class. So that was like my super sneaky way to like passing notes. So if you want to adopt that, go ahead. I can't, I, like, during summer, I was spending so much money that by the by the time school started, I had no money. Well, for me, I discovered thrift shopping, going back to school. Um, I used to, like, try to just find deals at, like, cheap places like Old Navy or whatever like that. But I realized going thrift shopping, which I do up till now in college, is a great way to save but also be stylish at the same time. I mean, you can go to anywhere like Crossroads or Wasteland or Buffalo Exchange and find so many good things, especially at the turn of the season because everybody's trying to get rid of their summer stuff and there's still leftover stuff from the season prior to that, so the winter season. And they're always going to have stuff on sale, so you can still look fashionable and still be on a budget. Okay, so the one thing that I always have to have whenever I'm in school is a planner. And I know it's kind of nerdy to have a planner, but if you get the really cool and really cute ones from like the Asian stationery stores, I mean, it's all the much better. Um, for me, I always take all the syllabuses that I get um, in the beginning of each class and basically go through it and write down the really important date. Um, all your periods, I mean, they're all probably going to give you a syllabus and kind of a rundown of what's going to happen. But if not, just write down the important dates like um, holidays and things like that so that you won't get um, sidetracked from your social life and also from your studies. So yeah. Okay, so something that I always had to have with me, um, and even still to this day, like in my purse or in my gym bag or something, is I always have to have a Sharpie. Always have to have a small bottle of lotion. Um, small bottle sanitizer and I always had to carry chapstick so those are like the essentials like for me for like high school and college and stuff you like absolutely have to have those things in your bag and um, it's a great way to make friends like super simple tip because if someone like is saying like you know oh man like I need to write something down I need like a sharpie you can hand it to them or if they're like oh I need some lotion my hands are really dry you can hand it to them it's like instant best friend and if you're like a freshman and you're looking to like try and get in with the in crowd if you have the stuff they need they will come to you Okay, what I would do at the beginning of every school semester, I would buy like a crap load of folders for each class. Worst idea ever because I, I just became so unorganized. I didn't know what to do. So what I did is I just got one folder and put everything in it, like the important things. And um, the planner, that's like all I needed was one folder and a planner. Because if I had all the other ones, my bag, I couldn't find anything. No, nothing's nothing's forever in high school. Wait for college. College is so much better. You have so much free time. You could do more, and um, you're more you, you're more like you know who you are. You have an idea of what you want. So that's my. Advice. As far as the social life goes in high school, um, my advice is to just 
pick your friends wisely. Don't be so concerned of having all the friends in the world because I was concerned about that at first and then going out of high school, I only really kept in touch with two or three of them. So really pick your friends wisely and you are gonna find those one or two friends that are gonna be your best friends forever and you're gonna share so many cool memories and things like that and you're always gonna come back to them and feel like no time has passed at all. I feel like cause I've, I've gone to high school, I've gone to college, and I've gone to grad school. Like, I've had too much school. <laughs> but I feel like college is, is like your time to discover yourself. And so, so much so in high school, like you want to lose yourself in everybody, in your friends, in, in your peer group, in your relationships. Like you want to get away from your family, but you also kind of want to keep them close in case you need them. But it, it, what it does is it just stunts your growth because you're not like focusing on you, you're focusing on everybody else. And then by the time you get to college, like it's, it looks like everybody else has it together and you're the only one who doesn't know who you are or what you want. So just, just remember that that's not true. Everyone else is putting up a front. And then the other really good advice I have for people in college versus high school is I didn't drink, I didn't do any drugs in high school. Like I was really lame. Like I go to parties, I have fun, but I just, I didn't drink, okay? And in high school, it's like there's so much peer pressure. Like everybody wants you to drink. Everybody wants you to have sex. Everybody wants you to do this. But in college, everyone's broke. And if you're the person who doesn't drink, one, you're automatically invited to every party as DD. So like you're always famous on campus. And two, like you're known as the person who doesn't waste the money because everybody wants to keep the alcohol for themselves. They ain't got no money. Mm -hmm. So if you don't drink in college, that's a good thing. <laughs> it's there. We like it was natural. Like seg they naturally segregated themselves. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Oh, weird. Weird. Nice little, like, you guys okay, saw you me. guys saw what I look like in high school. I'm yeah. so, you guys saw Skinny. Bobby looking. Oh my god. <laughs> you think I was a boy because I never wore any makeup and it was always. No, me neither. I never I wore, wore makeup. So many superhero shirts, shirts, Batman, Superman. And people were just kind of like, just kind of like. No, I, I never wore makeup and and it was like the reason I didn't have like a mom. So you know, no, like, she she like. So I didn't really have makeup, so it's like yeah. I didn't have a mom. Yeah. Like, and she and then, shopping, like, so I really didn't have a mom. Like I like I grew up with my dad and then I had an aunt. 